Hi there guys, it's Tom here from Wire Adventures. Today I just thought I'd give you a brief rundown on how to set up a mooring. So it's quite important to protect your boat when it's tied off on the mooring. So uh, I'm just gonna run through that. So to set these fenders up, what do you want? You want the fender. You see it's got four, four of these little holes here. You want, you need a special attachment like this. So it's a, it's a bar welded on to a machine screw with a washer and a nut. So this nut here happens to be 13, happens to be 13 mil. So this is a special, this is a special welded attachment to fit this track here. So this track, what will happen is it goes in to the track and then twists and grips. This fender here you see, it's got the L shape here. So you want the L shape to sit over the corner of the dock. Offer it up, push the boat away. So you can either drill these at home or bring your drill down to the dock with you. grab our piece pop it down there twist so you can see there the first one in place So again, the last one in, put it through, twist, and pop your fender down over, over there. And slide it along to match, to match where your boat's gonna be. So I think that's fairly, fairly good there. So the little fitting will naturally naturally twist as you turn the as you turn the nut. The fitting twists and grips. Last one. up all, all four just do a last check that they're all tight so we'll start at this end again yeah yeah There you have it, one 
fender screwed down into the dock. It's not going anywhere. And uh, the bow of your boat is now protected. So what you want when your boat's on the mooring is you want you want the boat to be sat very parallel to the dock. So this is what's called a finger pontoon, which attaches to the the larger main pontoon here. So you can see my boat's set up is moored port side too. So the port side is along the side of this finger. So uh, the way I want it set up is I want I want the boat to sit. I want it to sit parallel with the finger pontoon. I want, a, I want a small gap here, ideally, so the side of the boat's not rubbing on the fenders. Okay. I also want, I want the bow of the boat to be. I don't want the bow to be touching this fender here. So I'm going to just show you which lines to set up to keep your boat safe on its mooring. So I've got four lines attached at the moment and these are the mooring lines to the boat but what I'd like to do is I'd like to attach some lines permanently to the dock so I don't have to come and adjust my lines every time I moor the boat. So I want to set up some fixed length lines that I can just loop over over these points here it'll make mooring quicker every time now i can leave these lines attached to the boat as you'll see later on this this is starboard this is the starboard bow line port bow line okay so these secure the bow of the boat then i've got what's called a spring a spring line here so so this is aft leading so it attaches to the boat at a forward point and it leads aft to the shore attachment. This line here, this aft leading line, okay, because it's leading aft, if I push the boat, it'll tighten up and it actually stops the boat, it stops the boat moving that way. Similarly, this is what's known as a stern line, okay, because the stern of Wahoo is overhanging the pontoon. Okay, this line's also acting as a spring. So this line will stop the boat from moving aft. So if I push the boat aft, you can see the line, the line tightens up and it prevents, it prevents the boat moving that way. So the first thing you need to do when you're setting up your mooring is decide what kind of rope you want to use. Now this rope here is called three strand. It's called three strand because there are three strands uh, of line woven together. A slightly more expensive option these days is what's known as uh, a braid on braid. So this one has got an inner core you can see there and it's got this outer braided sheath. Okay, this line is uh, generally stronger than this one, but this this three braid has good abrasion quality, so you can rub up and down on a on the corner of the dock. It can rub up and down on the corner of the dock, and it's actually it's harder wearing. It's harder wearing outside, um, and it's generally cheaper. Problem with the three strand line is, if I cut it, you can see it will quickly unravel into three different strands. Okay, so once it starts unraveling like this, okay, then you're gonna need to tie it up. 
so you can either use tape um, or you can put a bit of whipping twine around the end but the best way of doing it is using a hot knife so if you're going to be if you're going to be doing a lot of I suggest you grab yourself one of these okay so what you can do is you can So you can actually melt the edge, you can melt the edges onto each other, which will prevent it from unraveling. This is what's known as an eye. Okay, it's a loop, a spliced loop in the line that's been spliced in on itself. A splice is a stronger alternative to a knot and it's less likely to come undone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these two lines up on the bow um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust them to where we think we should have them, all four lines, and only then will we start to actually tidy them up. So we'll go through the process now. So I'm going to get my line. I'm going to loop it over the top through there match what I've got already. Instantly this piece here is known as a fair lead. So it just guides the line so if I didn't have that the line would want to want to creep up here or down here. It just keeps it just keeps the line leading as in in a direction that you want. So the knot I'm going to tie here, it's called a round turn and two half hitches. So you put the line underneath, feed the line underneath, then you go round. That's called a round turn. And what that does is it stops the line from moving too much on the attachment. So it actually prevents chafe. Round turn and then two half hitches as you go over and under through that's what's known as a hitch a half hitch sorry and then you go over and under again round turn and then two half hitches so we're just going to leave this like, the, like this for now. We might have to adjust it after. What I can do now is this line that was in use is, is going to stay attached. It's going to stay on board, but I can now feed it aft and it can just sit in place. So same kind of deal with the other bow line. I'm going to feed it over, over the other one, onto here, through the fair lead. Same again. Round turn. Round turn. And under and through. And under and through. So 
so what I want is I want these lines quite tight I want them tight together because if they're not the boat's going to move these lines are going to stretch they're going to flex and uh, you want the mooring a little bit tighter but I'm going to adjust those at the end be the securing line which tightens all the other ones up so I'm going to leave this as it is for now so now we've got our four lines fixed I'm just going to make some minor adjustments to make sure the boats minimal movement on the boat square to the dock these two lines are tight these gray lines are leading aft so they're out of the way I'm gonna adjust this bumper fender here along a little bit I'm gonna loosen the bolts and just move it along because it's it's clear now that it just needs to be adjusted in that direction Now we're happy with the way the boat's sitting, the way the lines are set, we can now secure them off. So what you need at this stage is some cable ties and some side cutters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more half hitch in here, as an extra securing. So round under. Okay, and then I'm going to make the line off here because the knots will work their way up the line this way. So, you're going to put your cable tie there, clip it nice and short. Okay, and then you don't have a hot knife you can cut with a knife or a pair of scissors and use a lighter but preferable to use a hot knife so get your hot knife I might just put a second cable tie around there, just extra security. And there you have it.
put a bit of tension on the line and the hot knife will cut through more easily. So there you have it guys, just a brief chat through how to set up a mooring. I hope it's been helpful. There'll be plenty more how-tos coming in the future, so please subscribe to the channel and see you soon.